For the first time in American history, interest on the national debt just crossed the $1 trillion line. In fact, it's projected to hit $3 trillion in just five years. As Wall Street Silver asks, do you think we have a spending problem? First numbers, Treasury reported that last month the federal government collected $324 billion from the hardworking yet defenseless Americans who earned it. They spent nearly one-third of it, so $103 billion, just to service the debt. That's not guns or butter, that's just interest. Meanwhile, the Feds actually spent $671 billion on the month, meaning roughly $347 billion in fresh debt, or roughly half of what they spent. So yes, we might just have a spending problem. Problem is that not only are those numbers approaching goofy town, the debt itself is getting expensive fast. So four years ago, the average federal debt was paying 1.6%. We had very low rates back then. Now it's 3.2, so double. Take a larger debt, double the interest rate, and you are on a treadmill off a cliff. In fact, debt interest is basically on autopilot towards $2 trillion as old 1.6 debt is replaced by new debt that, thanks to the Fed, actually costs 4.5%, going by the 2-year and the 10-year. Now, keep in mind that's not even counting new debt, so Treasury borrowed almost a trillion in the first six months of this year and plans to borrow another $850 billion in the next three months. That kind of borrowing is unprecedented in peacetime, and of course it will jump when the recession hits in full. So they typically add a few trillion in deficit every time we have a recession between crashing tax revenue and soaring benefits. So far it's pretty dire, but it actually gets worse because that escalator of doom assumes an orderly treasury market. In other words, it assumes that there are enough buyers to absorb not just the $35 trillion in federal debt that's floating around, but also the $2 trillion plus in new debt we'll be pumping out every year. In fact, our three biggest foreign buyers, China, Japan, and Saudi Arabia and the Gulf regimes, are either actively reducing treasuries, China, they're already struggling to fund their own mammoth debts, Japan, or they're actively courted by China and Russia to ditch dollars altogether for trade, hence to ditch treasuries. In fact, foreign buyers now own just a third of U.S. debt that's down from nearly half a decade ago, which all leaves the last man standing individual Americans. Since 2008, and especially as rates rose during Biden inflation, individual Americans have ramped up their buying of federal debt, going from 13% to 27% of the publicly held debt. Problem is that leaves individuals exposed not just to rising inflation, which hikes Fed rates, but to any treasury disruptions, because anything that hikes rates also guts bond prices. That's what crashed banks last year. So next time that banks crash or that treasuries cannot find buyers, it could crash Americans' retirement accounts instead. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained.com. The debt tsunami is hitting unsustainable levels with very little interest in Washington fixing it. Increasingly, it's American individuals who are holding it all up, dumping their life savings directly into the firing line. For 50 years, Washington's solution to every crisis it creates has been spending, so more debt. If the debt itself is the crisis, if the calls are coming from inside the House, Washington will be out of ammo just when the big one hits. Read the rest of the article with charts and all the gory details at ProfStAnange.com. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.